Question number one. I thought I was charging high ticket because my price point is above $1,000. Is there a tangible price point that qualifies as high ticket? That question is from Amanda L. So $1,000 is not high ticket, right? $1,000 is like in the low end of low ticket, especially if you're selling some type of one-on-one -on -one or group program. Um, I don't understand a course being that much, which is complete videos and no coaching. So so if you, if you want to think about pricing levels, it's funny. I was just doing a – like a, a, a call with uh, with someone that is in the coaching field and was considering our program. And he had a lot of limiting beliefs around charging more. And he actually didn't have context around what pricing is what. So I, I pulled up one of our lesson slides and I just showed him. Anywhere from $500 to $5,000 is what we call beta, right? So let, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this first. High ticket is $5,000 or more. It could go up to like, hundred grand. It could go up to 10, 20, you know, 50, but nothing less than five. I consider high ticket. You guys can say three or more is high ticket, but it's really not. Cause if you break down a $3,000 uh, a program into payment plans, someone could get started for just a thousand bucks or for less than that. And so that comes, that starts competing with like courses. But if you go to five, the lowest way to start is like paying around two grand, which is some people's full high ticket price for a program. That's just the payment plan. So two, uh, so 5k or more is high ticket. 2k or less is low ticket. Anything less than two grand is low ticket. And then between two to five is this gray area. I call it beta because you're not confident enough yet or have enough results to charge that five thousand dollars or more ticket, high ticket price. We also don't want to sell it your time or your coaching for so low that, you know, it's not valuable. Like if you sell something for $1,000 or $1,500, someone might question whether or not you're good at what you do. I want you to hear that again. If you're selling something for less than two grand, your prospects, if they're real high ticket clients, they might question if you're good at what you do. Okay. Um, and it's funny because the, the person I was just talking to, he said, I talked to some people who are low ticket mindset and they were like, oh, that's so much money. He was selling something for 20, uh, 2,400 or something. Um, so it's around that 2K mark. And then it goes in, I talk to some other people and they're like, that's it? I'm like, that's what high ticket clients sound like. If you sell something for too cheap, they'll be like, what? That's it? You want someone to go 10 grand? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it was around that much. But see, that's the kind of people you also talk to as well. If you track the wrong type of people with the wrong message, then you're going to feel like people can't afford a 5K or more price. But it's really just your messaging. It's really just your offer positioning in the market. You're getting those people that can't afford on the phone. So now you're going to think your offer is not worth that. But really, the audience you're speaking to can't afford that, not your offer. So so that's that's the pricing. 5K or more is high ticket. 2K or less is low ticket. Gray area is 2 to 5, which is beta. Which is a, a, an except it's exception it's um it's acceptable because you're charging lower than five as a an exchange for like it's a beta version so they, you want testimonials as well not that at five you won't get testimonials but specifically you're charging less because you're doing it for creating case studies and success stories so now um a thousand or more is like you're in low ticket so if you want to go high ticket you have to do five or more. Now, if you're building a new program that you have no results in or no clients for, you should be doing half of that five. So anywhere from 25 to three is a good beta price. I've had some clients sell their 10K, uh, sell their beta for 10K. It's not that you can't. I'm just saying that's usually a standard of where you want to be between. So repeat the question one more time. I want to make sure I'm answering that because that's context on pricing. But what's the question specifically? So I thought I was charging high ticket because my price point is above $1,000. Is there a tangible price point that qualifies? It's high ticket was her question. Well, that's the answer. 5K or more is high ticket. Anything less than that is either beta or you're just underselling yourself, right? Yeah. But you should, and, and at the very least, I think most coaches are selling anywhere between an eight-week program or more. So you got to think about that, right? Like you're charging something for five grand. That's only 2,500 bucks a month, right? That's, that's nothing in sales. That's really nothing. And you're seeing this person continuously every week. If that's one-on-one, -on -one. even yeah. in group, it's the same. So- Awesome. Yeah. So our next question then just piggybacks off that. So how do I know my offer has enough in it to be classified as high ticket? That's from Leo R. So there definitely is like deliverables that should be in every program to make it worth its cost. Like I'm, I'm not saying it's not about that. Um, 
I also know people that sell literally just seeing them, nothing else, just seeing them once a week for like 20 grand plus. So it's, it's not like, it's not absolute, but here's the fundamental stuff. Like the, like the basic stuff you should have in every offer. And then I'm going to tell you how to know if it's worth what you're charging. Fundamental stuff is they should see you consistently. Okay. So weekly is usually best because you want to keep them accountable. After a week, a lot can happen. If you go bi-weekly, it's fine, but it's not good for the client. Like I'm, I'm being honest. Like I've done all, I've done monthly, I've done bi-weekly and I've done weekly. My clients get better results when I see them every week because we're on a short leash. So every time something happens, we're, it's enough time for us to fix and, and adjust and fix and adjust. So weekly, I would say would be no matter what you sell should be in there, whether it's group calls, one-on-one calls, or some type of um, group call in, a, in an on-demand program. Um, the other one is you want to create some form of worksheets. So if you don't have something to give them to work with you on, it's going to not only feel weird, like they're paying for nothing, they will feel that because they're like, what am I paying for? Just your words. But also you're going to be unorganized. Like I found my best coaching uh, clients have been when I give them like, here's your roadmap. And then here's this worksheet. I want you to finish it by the next thing. Here's your homework for the next session. And go do these things. So like Google Docs, like a simple Google Doc with questions in it or step-by-step stuff in it. And they, they have something to actually collect from you and do. So that turns you into a great coach, which is what I what I call a great coach because you're adding teaching element and a coaching element. Coaching is about asking questions and bringing out the greatness within you. But teaching is giving you the know-how and the how-to of what to do to get the result you want because not everyone knows what they should do or how to do it. But the strategy behind it is the coaching part, which is how well you do that thing. So I would also have an element of like stuff to work on. So whether it's videos you give them to watch or worksheets to work on like Google Docs, that's also I think should be in every coaching program because it shows that you also did your work to create a curriculum, to create something that they're going through with you. It shouldn't just be like calls with you unless you're selling accountability coaching. In that case, you would be selling $50 to $100 sessions because that's like a personal trainer. You're just selling time to be there with them to do something. Um, Big breakthrough right there. If you're selling that much or you're an accountability coach, that's all you're worth. Um, you know, so that's at least what I know. Like a job is like a hundred dollars an hour, 50 bucks. And then all you're doing is accountability every week. So you need to have a curriculum from A to Z that, that takes them from where they are to where they want to be, which leads me into how, you know, if you have enough in your program to, uh, to charge what you charge. If you at least meet with them once a week and you have some form of content or assets to give them to work on, that's all you need. You can charge anything you want, not based off what you're giving them in the program or what they get, but more so the result and the outcome of them working with you. That's how you know if you have enough to charge high ticket. So how do I know if I can charge five, 10, or even 25 grand, which 25 grand is my one-on-one program. I'm not even going to offer that for too long because it's it's too full right now. Um, We're going to eventually turn that into a group mastermind. But right now I have 25,000 more clients. All I'm doing is seeing them every week. And they get one-on-one access to me on Voxer so they can talk to me throughout the day. Like no one else has that. My clients have to wait in the program on the group calls or to post in the group. They can't directly get on a call with me. But these guys can. My elite clients can directly talk to me. So that's another thing, more access. Um, But also we have Google folders with Google Docs in it. And there's like things they got, they get like assets they get on how to run their business better. So all I did was give them Google Docs and my one-on-one time. That's 25 grand USD. So I'm telling you, cause I've sold so many of those. It's doesn't, it's not about having more things in it. It's about the result because that program is a guarantee to the step-by-step process to get into hundred grand a month. That's why 25 is a no brainer because I'm four times in the result. And that's just in one month. Again, one of my clients who hit 57 K just their first month into that program, doubled their money, more than doubled their money. Um, and they're at, they're on track to hit hundred now for this month. So my point is, it's not what you give in the program, not like the deliverables. The basics should be you should see them every, consistently. You should give them assets to work on and maybe more access to you if it's one-on-one, right? But other than that, it's not what they're paying for. Your time isn't what they're paying for. They're paying for your one-to-one attention to get them to a specific result. At least in the lead, that's how it is. If you don't do one-on-one, if it's group or something else, they're paying for an outcome. No one would in their right mind pay $25,000 to someone. 
just because they saw that it's really fancy Google Docs or that they're seeing them every day of every week for 90 days. That's not going to justify why, they're, why would they, they would pay 25 grand. It's because the result is more valuable than the cost of the program. The problem we solve is more valuable to them than the cost of what I charge. So how do you know you have enough in your, in your offer to charge high ticket? It's not about how much you have inside your program. It's about what is the end result of that program? And is that more worth than what you charge high ticket? Right? So in Elite, we promise, I promise that I give them everything they need to hit 100 grand in sales or 100 grand a month in sales. It depends on where they're at. If it's a beginner, they go from zero to 100, right? Because they get that first six-figure breakthrough in 90 days. So I'm challenging myself to do it with them. The second person has money coming in, but they want to get to 100 grand a month. And that turns it's a lot more scale based in systems. But 25 grand then is for that result, not for what they get from it. And as you see, again, we're solving a problem that's much more expensive than what we charge because not making any clients, not making money, being stuck, being lost, all these things cost way more money, tens of thousands of dollars if you add it up over the months than what we charge. So it's a no-brainer to pay us a fraction of that to get into the program to fix all of that. And again, that's yeah. an on-demand program. So um, mm -hmm. summarized answer, bare minimum things you should have in every offer is assets you give them, the client to work on. So like Google Docs, worksheets, things that they can do videos if, if possible. Consistent coaching, so uh, consistent meeting basis. And, um, and level of access depends on the price point and what the offer is. But other than that, what determines the, 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 the justifying justification of your price is the end result. And there's two types of people. There's the people that charge less because they don't think themselves the end result is worth more than that. Or the way they're thinking about what they do for the client is they're only finding the small end result, not the big one. So they're, they're just yeah. they're thinking about them all. So they don't know if high ticket is worth the price because the result they think is not worth it. And there's the other person who overestimates the, the price, the result, sorry, yeah. and charges way too much for the result, but their offer isn't a high ticket. So they're selling some low ticket thing. They're like, well, why aren't people paying me seven grand? I'm like, well, when I hear it, that result is not worth seven grand. So both problems, though, come from a, a, an improper positioning. Both yeah. people are positioning their offer the wrong way. Either their mindset on, like, they either have a high yeah. ticket uh, uh, result, but they charge low ticket for it because yeah. they don't think this is high ticket. That's them. Or they have a high ticket price, but a low ticket result. And you're like, why would I pay seven for that or five for that? So, so the way to fix both of those is, first of all, position your offer with a result that is far more expensive than what you charge. So you got to adjust your offer. Yeah. A lot of Co coaches come in our program, we adjust their offer. There's six elements to high ticket offer that nobody knows about. And we sh share it with our coaches and they go, oh, I didn't know this had to be an element in my offer. Now it's worth five or 10 grand. Yeah, we fixed that. But the second thing is you also got to make sure you are choosing a result that is high ticket, right? Yeah. You can also make sure you believe it's a high ticket thing. Not just you believe, but you can prove it. <laughs>